guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Mercy Earth so today I'm at Isili I'm going to give you a walk in the busy streets of Isili Okay, so first things first. Isile is a neighborhood in Nairobi, Kenya. It's located in the east of the central business district. Isile was founded in 1921. At this time, it was formerly called Nairobi East Township and was mostly populated by Somalis who had moved from the Ngara Plains. But the colonial government originally tried to segregate citizens by race and ethnicity Failures at doing so in the Isili neighborhood more or less stopped the practice under colonial rule, so class became the general segregation factor afterwards. The colonial government allotted Nairobi's residential estates by race, and Isili was pointed for Asians and elite Africans who worked as clerks, builders, or shoemakers. Isili was originally a large Kenyan Asian enclave until independence in the 1963. In recent years, the suburb has been dominated and almost exclusively inhabited by Somali immigrants. Well, another thing I need to point out about Isili is that the Isili Airport, also known as the Moi Airbase, is located in the northern parts of Isili. The base was the site of the British Royal Air Force base, known as the RAF Isili. The dual-use facility was also the main civilian international airport in Nairobi for the period of 1943 to 1958, before the opening of the new airport at Embakasi, since named Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Across from the other side, Okay, let's talk about the administrative divisions of Isili. Administratively, Isili is divided into Isili North and Isili South. Both are parts of the Nairobi's Pumwani division. Isili is further partitioned into three areas. The first section, which is from Juja Road. Then we have the second section, which is the commercial center. And the last one, which is the third section, that is situated towards Juja Road. Another thing you need to note about Isili is that it's mostly entirely inhabited by Somalis, except for a few indigenous residents. The suburb's commercial sector is likewise dominated by Somalis, with most of the businesses owned by the Somali community. Somalis have invested heavily in the enclave. Business in the suburb branch from the small stores to shopping malls and night lodges and all feature Somali names such as Tawakal, Mogadishu, Karan, Halal, etc. Products are typically imported from Mogadishu and Dubai and include designer clothing, jewelry and even camel milk. Okay, so walking around recently, I noted some of the malls that are found here. The first one is the Isili Mall. We have another one known as the Bangkok Shopping Mall, Isili. We have another one called the Yare. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but it's Yare Plaza Isili. We have Royal Mall Isili. Then we do have Amal Shopping Center Isili. 
then followed by Olympic Shopping Center Isili, we have Medina Mall Isili, we have Tansi Mall Isili, we also do have the Max Shopping Mall Isili, I don't know whether the Max is for maximum, I have no idea, then we do have the Business Bay Square, that is the BBS Mall Isili, we also have the Emirates Shopping Mall Isili, we have Hong Kong Shopping Mall, we have Al Habib Shopping Mall, we do have Isili Social Hall, we have Usalama, and we do have Al Nur. Is it Ali Nur or Al Nur? I don't know. And we have Al Al Mukaram. Well, <laughs> if you know how to pronounce it, kindly comment on the se comment section. Anyway, we have so many malls right here that have different varieties of products, goods, and items. If you are in Nairobi and you want a place where you can have a very nice deal based on different items, I think this is the best place to be. So in the meantime, just enjoy the video. It was too much of a walk. Looking around, checking out a few things you can get at a very good discounted prices. So enjoy the video. Okay, so in case you want to go to Isili by bus, uh, these are the directions. So. The following transit lines have routes that pass near Isili. That is the number 69 stroke 62. Then we, ha we do have 17 AKY number 6. So if you're coming from Mombasa Road at Makadara, it's around 48 minutes. Then if you're coming from the headquarters of Parklands or Westlands, that's 52 minutes. If you're coming from Langata Barracks, that's 75 minutes. Then if you're coming from Kiamba, 67 minutes. If you're coming from uh, KWS area, 58 minutes. If you're coming from Westlands, I think I mentioned it's 53 minutes and so on and so forth. But then the good thing is just to key in the location from the Google Maps. I think it will be very easy for you. Mostly carpets this side, this side eh? Let's talk about the education sector in Isili. So you find that there are a lot of schools located in Isili. The first one being Isili High School. We do have St. Teresa Boys High School, St. Teresa Girls High School, Umwani Boys High School, and Maina Wajingi. Wajingi or Wajigi. Maina Wajingi High School. This side mostly has the curtains. This area is actually known for so many amazing curtains.
Aynen. The most here are just spices, you know. Mr. Atuna to the street. So ladies and gentlemen on the comment section kindly kindly just suggest any place that you like to see whether it's in Nairobi or in the outskirts of the Nairobi CBD. So let me know what you'd like to see. Give me suggestions I'll totally and deeply appreciate. Also, remember to give me a views of what you think about Isili. Okay everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Kindly subscribe, like and share this video. I will deeply appreciate. For now, it's a bye-bye.